Let's talk about Last Man Standing. Congrats on this. No, thanks very much. Uh, I, I watched it when it was on ABC. Right. And then all of a sudden it wasn't on ABC. Tell us. Tell the 300 of the crew and everybody the same thing. We're all going, this is the best show I've ever been on. What? We're yeah. off the air. Yeah, well, we all thought we were well, at the that... top of their game at ABC. I, who knows how networks work? I don't know. But it was dropped. I felt like the last guy in the uh, hospital room. I wouldn't let it go. I took the sets to my, st I have a little production st uh, studio of my own, and I, put, I set up the Mike Baxter set and did these guerrilla vlogs without anybody's permission because I couldn't let this thing go. Was, we had six stories in the can. ABC said we're going to go a different direction. I said, what, non-profitable? How's, <laughs> how's that work? <laughs> what direction is that? Yeah, what yeah. direction is that? We're right, not right, making right, The crapper, that's a good idea. But then Fox uh, picks it Fox up. Fox picks it up. And the patient was like dead. I was the last guy in the, hotel, you know, the hospital room. I said, the patient's got a pulse. And Dana Walden from uh, Fox said, how would you feel about picking it up? And I said, well, oh, wait a minute, the patient, I, I see a little light there. But I said, everybody's gone on to other stuff. This is, uh, yeah, this you is can't get almost, everyone back together. We got everyone back together. All the crew, the most important thing, and craft service. You got to have craft <laughs> yeah, service. Yeah, that's true, yeah. Thanks. You're doing great ratings. Yeah, Congratulations. Yeah. That's a Thanks great story. Me. I'm happy to have you. We got everybody back. Yeah, yeah. But you're also. <laughs> You're also uh, one of the greatest stand-ups I've ever Thanks. seen. And uh, that's how I first got to, to know you and, and see your act and stuff. So now you're also booked everywhere. Yeah, because I didn't know the show was on, so we did a 44-city tour. <laughs> and then the show gets picked up, and I'm going, how Oops. am I going to do all this? <laughs> the only other guy that does this is Leno. I mean, Leno works yeah, every... He's the he works, machine. He's the I've, never, I've never seen anybody. What do you do? Well, what am I going to do? i gotta, I got to I gotta go out. I, how do I afford all these cars? You never <laughs> oh drive the cars. God. It's like nuts. He's on my show. Drive him, you yeah. can, you get, we get him on my show sometimes. Yeah. Just be on his show, but this show. The, I, do you whatever. still love doing stand-up? I love doing stand-up. Did a show in Atlantic City, which is like Vegas in a weird way. I worked the Mirage in Vegas, but Atlantic City. And I wasn't even to the mic. I literally come out, you know, 2,100 people in the big showroom, and I didn't even get the mic yet. And the guy goes, you suck! <laughs> <laughs> and all I could say was, let me get to the mic and say a few things before you throw out you suck. <laughs> <laughs> but why not? That is, that's New Jersey that's for you, New man. Jersey. Yeah, they'll, they'll tell you what's up. Uh, Tim is playing at the Kiva Auditorium in Albuquerque, New Mexico, December 1st, and also the Fresno Convention Center in Fresno, California, January 12th. Go see him and don't yell, you suck. He's great. Yeah. It's Tim Allen, everybody. Uh, uh -huh. on and on and on. Uh,